and then you meet them in real life and you realize holy shit they are just real people like you and i right it's not there's <laughs> dare, dare i say even less than you and i good sir but hey that's not either here nor there <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm definitely not gonna name any names man i'm not gonna say there's a catfish or nothing out there but uh you no, know if, if no you no send... <laughs> no <laughs> it was fun dude it was funny um I had a blast. I met. <laughs> hey, I didn't say. I didn't say. No, you didn't no, no. Me. If you were there, you uh, fucking know. But hey, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, if you went to Vegas, you just you missed out. That's all I'm saying here. If you didn't go to Vegas, you missed out. So, uh, yeah, meeting meeting some of those people it was interesting, right? So we got to uh, we got to meet a lot of people that we've talked to in spaces. You know, I met with JTR from uh, Respected Rhinos. We had some great conversations. He introduced me to uh, um, his manager as well. And so that was that was really cool being able to meet um, just kind of the people that work IRL together. And we talked about some of the things that we can do IRL together, you know? I know you've t we've talked in spaces about the chathub.com and the website and the potential for that and what he wants to, to work out there, so. Uh, it was cool to kind of just get face to face with them and have that conversation. We were able to exchange numbers and can move forward on some stuff. Same with, you know, meeting Swirl. It was great to finally get face to face with Swirl uh, at the Gak Mansion party. And uh, I think that was it was great, man. Uh, we made some great connections. Violetta, we got to finally meet Sammy as well. Uh, it sucks because it flew by. You know, I feel like I didn't really get to have the conversations that going out there I wanted to have. Uh, because it was just pure chaos with everybody, you know, going from event to event, calling Ubers, figuring out who's driving with who, and uh, just, you know, it's it's Vegas, so it's just chaos. So fast. It goes yeah. so fast, man. And <laughs> between catfishes and and you know, like those followers don't mean jack shit, bro. <laughs> like I fucking I saw it like. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. If you have a hundred thousand followers and you're averaging the same amount of likes that I am, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to say it. Like, I'm just going to say it. Like I, 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 I literally watch it. We are literally humming beans on the same floating rock. My friends, you can do whatever you want in this life. We are all human beings. I, I never felt the power of it until this weekend. And then also another point, I never felt the power of what we're building and how real it is until I met you and until you, and this is why, and I, here's what I'm looking at over here. You handed me a pack of legacy, right? And I want to talk about this here in a minute. But first thing he hands me is a fucking pack of legacy, right? Legacy by Chad and Brad. And I take a picture of it just to remember. But it literally bought it so fucking real. It blew my mind. Literally distributed by Chad Enterprises, LLC, 51544, Cesar Chavez. Literally fucking Coachella, California, www.chadhub.com. And I was just like, this is fucking real life. Like, this is fucking real. And, like, it's got all the fucking THCs on it. I'm just like, holy shit. We have been talking about this for months and months and months and months and months. And now it finally just, it all came full circle. And it was just so fucking dope, man. Um, And I'm going to tell you what. Yo, product. Yo, product. Beautiful. Wonderful. Uh, Anybody you had the most fun smoking with in, uh, in Vegas and anybody uh, give you some... 10 million star reviews on uh, any of your product while you're out there? Yeah, so we got to smoke with uh, Tom, Baby Lung Bree uh, yeah. as well. We got to meet up with Baby Lungs and, and Tom Barraza, and that was dope. You know, we were smoking a blunt outside the convention. It was, you know, all of us out there that are usually in those Twitter spaces, it's right? So we're awesome. normally, and we're having conversations face to face. That was the first thing, too, that Yeti said to me. I got to give Yeti his first dab. And uh, that was something that, that was exciting. And, and the first thing he said to me, I picked him up from the airport and we were driving back and we were just talking <clears> and he was just staring at me. And he was like, it's so fucking weird to hear you talk and see you act like see your face <sighs> and actually see you talking. He's like, it's just fucking tripping me out right now. And I was like, dude, it's yeah, so because we hear each other every day. And, <laughs> and now we all got to meet up. Shit, I just about took down everything over here. Okay, it'd be cool. Everybody be cool. Uh, you know, it it really is just it is amazing. I got a funny story about Yeti, me and Baby O. <clears throat> I don't know if we I think we share this with you, but a lot of the people out there won't know it. 
so me, I for obviously first person I meet up with is Baby O. Uh, we were up in my suite, and he picked me up right from the airport. We go to the dispo, and then we went right to my suite. And I was unpacking shit, and we get a call from him, Cody and Jenna, woke zombies. Hey, where you at? What are you doing? I'm like, hey, we just got to the fucking room at Harris. Holy shit, we're right in front of Harris. We'll walk in. Beautiful, wonderful. So they're with also Jess the Mess. It's all good. Don't worry, Travis. And her husband, Brenton. And then they also got Yeti with them. Now, we all, uh, I see them. We come off the elevator and I see them on the opposite side. I say, holy shit, there they are. And I took off running. And Jenna was the first one to see me. We locked eyes. She screamed, did her whole shit, started crying. The usual Jenna shit. But the best part of that interaction wasn't hugging Cody. It wasn't hugging Brenton. It wasn't hugging JTM, my girl Jess the Mess, for the first time. The best part was I'm having a conversation with Yeti. And he's looking at me the same way. He, he, he was like, bro, like, this is fucking crazy. This is crazy. I'm like, yeah, dude, I, 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 I don't even have words. Baby O hadn't said hi to him yet. Baby O taps him on the shoulder, and Baby O, obviously, smart man, carries around a backpack of beer in Vegas. That's what you like to do. He saves a little bit of money. Taps Yeti on the arm with a beer, says, hey, you want a beer? Yeti goes, no, 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 and fucking, like, pushes him away like he's a, a fucking uh, a, a salesman or some shit on the strip. <laughs> and two seconds goes by, and he double takes him, and he sees his baby O, and he just loses his fucking mind and picks him up. It was the best fucking meeting ever. But just fucking having Yeti think that baby O was like a fucking uh, a street salesman or some shit. I was dying, dude. Um, but yeah, I had uh, a lot of people. I rolled up quite a few uh, of them. Uh, what, what the fuck were they calling them? I don't know what the fuck the gags were calling them last night. I was cracking up. They weren't calling them joints, but they were calling them something. I don't fucking know. I, 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 I'm not saying the word that's coming to my mind because that can't be right. But uh, I was going to say joint. <laughs> no, no. It started with a J. I don't know. It's something special. They said either way. Oh, it's um, Jeffrey. No, no. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they were saying. <laughs> but um, essentially, rolled a lot of doobies for a lot of different people, and there was a lot of people that were stuck in couches. A lot of people that were falling asleep. A lot of people couldn't talk anymore. Uh, and it was putting me on the moon. It was the best thing on the planet. So uh, any any good stories you had from uh, anybody trying any of the project or products, not projects? No, but so everybody, I was impressed, you know, even uh, Truth. Like we did a dab. It was his first time dabbing in a long time. And uh, he was like, yeah, I was surprised. Like the dab didn't really hit me as hard as I thought it was going to. Like I didn't. It didn't put me on the couch or anything like that. And I was like, yeah, man, you you killed it. Same with Yeti. Yeti came in, did the dab, and he was just up, ready to go. And it, it's like it made him more talkative. And he was just, you know, it was uh, it was interesting. And then all the blunts that we smoked, I didn't really see anybody passing out. Nobody really yeah. – everyone held their shit together pretty well this weekend, man. At, at least in our group that we uh, – yeah. like everyone was smoking. Um I don't know if outside everybody was getting fucked up on some stuff, but uh, I had brought some booth with us as well as the the legacy. I got to meet Marsha, which was a really cool for those that know uh, Marsha and Lighten. She's uh yeah, she was really cool, and so I got to get her some legacy. I think uh, her daughter was with her as well, and so we got to take some pictures at the convention. Um, it was cool, man. Famous Dill was there. Uh, everybody was smoking too it was it was like i feel like a lot of people were smoking weed um a lot of people were a lot of people were drinking i would say not everybody was drinking though which was surprising like out in vegas you would expect a lot of people were like going out and just going wild but no pe people were uh you know just sticking to the weed which i thought was really cool to see too for the most part yeah honestly um and yeah there were there were even people that really weren't drinking at all yeah and, but uh, but me, I uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I was fucking a fish out there, boy. <laughs> I was a fucking fish. Uh, shit. While we're on the topic of uh, products and, and everything in between, it was – and kind of meeting Yeti and Truth and all that. Like, it was your first time to really hang with the team, to sit, to have that, that real interaction, to have some of those conversations. Like, anything get accomplished? Any <laughs> alpha run around? Any anything we might want to be looking forward to post NFT Vegas from the Chad and Brad fam? You know, I don't think there's any extra alpha that we can share that we haven't already been working on. It was mostly catching up on all the stuff that we were like already had in place. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wish we would have had those late night conversations. I think Yeti was uh, 
Yeti was the one that was the powerhouse, dude.